Hi there and welcome to my brief video showing you how to modify a belt CV a little bit further on the fly bar to mixers uh, modification that's uh, on the stickies. Uh, this one's on my own belt CP and what I have done is added as you can see in the picture here a couple of old brass connectors from some of the old uh, nitrous I used to fly between the actual fly bar holding case and the fly bar connecting rods that go down to the mixer arms. This gives the rods a much more perpendicular position. I hope from these pictures you'll be able to see what I've been done and how much better it does look compared to the standard modifications. You can see the, um, the old control balls sitting there between the fly bar holding section and those swing arms. This is another angle. This now shows the fly bar and also the control rods dropping down to the mixing arms. As you can see on the left hand side there, it's almost a vertical movement which is far far better. Without that ball the linkages are very very strange angles and there's a very good chance of binding. This shows one of the links going down now from the fly bar to the mixers. As you can see it is really at a very very good angle. Another view of the rod. With this one I actually have the rotor blades folded backwards and pointing right across to the right, extending it to try and give you a good picture of the actual rod. I'll try and move it to make it a little uh, easy to see. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do of course, but you can see there how that uh, flybar rod is located. And just another one that I hope clarifies the positioning of these new drop rods. And one last one, again showing those rods almost vertical as they drop down from the fly bar onto the uh, mixing arms. There's the entire head mechanism. Move the whole thing over there. It's a background, might give you a little bit better detail. And now for some actual life. Here we go, rotating the fly bar. Full left. Full right. This shows you, I think, very well how the uh, the links mix from the fly bar down to the um, the mixers. And now from the other angle. You can see the swash moving at the same time here, obviously. There's the swash moving last live close up. As you can see, there's no way that any of this can bind against the other rods. They're all very separate. Again, the view from the top, handheld this time, so excuse the shudder. Well, folks, that's just about it. A couple more handheld shots to um, hopefully let you see exactly what the whole thing looks like and give you a much clearer and better idea of how this modification works. I have flown the, the aircraft and it does fly extremely well. So I would commend this to anyone that wants to have a much better looking head and nice free head movements to try this mod out and see how it goes for you. Enjoy.